Cavalier. Don't know if you got a girl. Don't mean no disrespect, but thoughts of you rule my world. I even dream of you, I swear. Okay, so um, this is the next day, actually. <laughs> Because I just got so tired and then my um my baby was crying and I had to just deal with her. So yeah, I'm back next day. I don't even remember where I left off and what I was even talking about. But hopefully it wasn't on her donor because I just don't even want to talk about that situation anymore. Um, But I'm going to go ahead and start on my makeup. And I've already primed and moisturized my face. So I'm just going to go in. The first thing I always do is my brows. So right now they are not arched or shaped up or nothing for me. Um, I really don't do much to my eyebrows as far as grooming because I do not have full brows. Like they stop literally right here. And my mom's is that way and it looks like my daughter's is going to be that way as well. So um, I just go in and sh uh, create the shape that I like with my um this is the eyebrow gel and i get this from this eyebrow gel from um five below i don't even remember the brand i'm so sorry but it is um you can pretty much use any eyebrow gel but i like this one because it is like an off black i don't like using like brown unless i am wearing colored hair um so if i'm wearing black hair there's no reason for me to not match my brows with that some people think it's too harsh i like it personally so that's just me it would do whatever it floats your boat so what i'm going to go ahead and do is take an angled brush and a small angle brush and create the shape of my brow so what we can talk about is more about this quarantine let me know down in the comments what you think your state is going to do are they um extending your uh stay at home order until you know the 15th of may that's what they're saying here in ohio um i have no idea but one thing that i'm definitely scared about is that people are just going to um get fed up with this whole thing and they're just not gonna um they're not going to follow the rules or follow what is being asked of people because at the end of the day i understand people's frustration you want to get back to work you want life to go back to normal but honestly life is not going to be normal ever again in my opinion i think this is something that's going to change the way everything um works in our country and in the world period because this has affected the entire world so um the fact that you know i think that some people is going to affect their mental state which is affecting mine definitely because you know dealing with postpartum you you need to keep yourself busy you want to do some things you want to go out with your friends you want to be um active just to keep your mind off of the you know quote unquote woes of life you just don't want to think about it and being forced to be inside not really doing much you are forced to think about all of your issues and your problems and nobody wants to deal with that nobody wants to harp on that type of stuff i know i don't so with that being said i'm just going to take um some of this la girl pro conceal in um medium beige and i'm using that just on the under portion of my brows so yeah with that being said as far as um the way things will change i just feel like some people are not going to be receptive to this extending longer longer and longer and it seems like some states are have definitely been affected more than others of course because their population is bigger like new york california places like that florida um you know and i think florida may have gotten hit because of all of those people 
down there that was continuing to go to the beaches and continue to go there for spring break and things of that nature thinking that they wasn't gonna get nothing like who people are so freaking entitled who do you think you are that you are immune to the, this disease or this virus is not you know oh i'm just going after black people oh i'm just going after asians no it's going after everybody and at the end of the day, if you are exposed and you are not even paying attention to um, the rules of, you know, what your state is doing and talking about, well, I'm still going to go for spring break. I'm still going to do this. I'm still going to do that. Okay, now you're reaping the consequences because a lot of those people that was down there for spring break are now have now been infected with the virus. And then some of them probably didn't even didn't even know that they came in contact with the virus and they're spreading it to other innocent people. And that's the issue right there, because I just feel like some people won't get the symptoms. They'll think they're fine. And, you know, but and as much as I don't really care for our president, the thing is, our current president, I just feel like he's he's the only person that you can kind of listen to at this point um not saying that everything he says is factual um sometimes he does talk out the side of his neck but at the end of the day who who else do you can you turn to who else can you really turn to at this moment um other than god you know that's the only person that i am putting my trust in at this point because the government is only going to tell you what you know they're only going to tell you so much is basically what i'm trying to say and i don't think that they're telling us the entire um what they could tell us and i think some of it is appropriate that they don't tell us every single thing because some people would panic or some people would um you know just react different you know not in a good way so i just feel like our state is doing pretty good ohio is doing pretty good at um preventative measures and just kind of making sure that you know you're letting people know please wear your mask please you know protect yourselves as much as possible so that you are not unknowingly affecting other people infecting other people with this virus so um since i'm doing like a somewhat of an eyeshadow look i'm gonna go ahead and i don't know if i'm gonna do like yeah i'm gonna do an eyeshadow look um so I'm going to take that same LA Girl Pro Conceal and just put some on my lids. I use this as like a primer. So anywho, um, yeah, I just feel like our state is doing pretty good. Let me know how you, how you feel your state is doing when it comes to um, combating this, this virus and, you know, being as strict on people as you think that they should. Uh... As far as schools, I feel like our schools, they haven't announced it yet, but they are um, not going to be going back this school year at all. Um, our school year was supposed to end May 28th anyway, so I'm not exactly sure why they would make us go back on the 15th and then just do like, <laughs> what, 10 days? Like that just doesn't make any sense. So, um they just haven't announced it yet and i think that they're waiting i was having this conversation with my mom earlier that i just feel like they're waiting because they want they don't know how because they said the first in ohio anyway they said the first things that was going to open was uh businesses like certain businesses and stuff meaning those businesses um would have to have their workers there and the workers obviously might have kids so, with that being said, they need somebody to watch their kids while they're at work. So, and at that time, school was the, the main source. And even if school is not, um, daycares needed to 
was would would do it as well for the younger kids or for aftercare after school so i know a lot of the parents that i um, come in contact with my kids they end up going to uh, aftercare because most people don't get off work when we're out of school so it's crazy but anyway um this is the kara es06 0635 color eyeshadow palette got this from uh, the local beauty supply store but i'm pretty sure you can get this on ik house so what i'm gonna do is use um this shade right here as my transition shade so yeah i just think that this is just a crazy 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 time and the only thing you can really do is rely on God during during this time. Honestly, um, I feel like I don't know what I would do and where I would be and where my mental state would be at this point because I'm already struggling, you know, with the postpartum and everything. But, um, you know, it gets easier for me because I know that I have, you know, protection over my life. And honestly, I just have to take take back control of my mind because at the end of the day, anxiety is built on fear and you cannot let fear control your life, honestly. And I won't let it honestly control my life. I have to live for my daughter. I have things that I need to get done. You know what I'm saying? So Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and with another orangey type shade. And that's this one here. It's a little deeper than the one I use for the transition. Just going to end with that. And these are like okay pigmented. I did a, um, a little order on Ulta last night. So I have some, um, what is it, uh, Juvia's Place palettes coming. And those are super hella pigmented so these are pigmented enough for me i just feel like those juvia's place ones are just about to take my this to a whole nother level my eyeshadow level to a whole nother level for real because honey i don't like spending a whole lot of money but i went ahead and splurged i got like five palettes on there and honestly the palettes were actually cheaper on ulta than they were on the actual Juvia's Place website. So what I'm going to do is get the, because I want to try their concealers as well. Let me know down in the comment section if you have tried the Juvia's Place concealers. Um, because I really, really, really want to try those. Pretty bad. I'm going in with an even deeper shade. And for me, I just like blending colors together. I don't really, I'm not really going to be doing no uh, cut crease. I like when other people do them, but for me, I'm just kind of over the trend for myself. I here recently, I just didn't do eyeshadow looks at all. It was more so um, just kind of neutral beats. So that's what I've been liking lately. I'm going to take that same color that I used for my transition and I'm going to go back in with it up here. And then I'm going to go in with Um, a flat like pack like a packing brush I want to say and I'm going to use let's see I'm going to use this champagne like shade down here and I'm just going to pack that on the mobile lid So if you guys don't mind sharing your stories down below about um, 
how you've been holding up as far as your jobs are concerned have you been laid off has your state been doing this job well distributing unemployment i know i hear a lot of things about other states um i know my state is extremely backed up um when it comes to um the ohio department of job and family services i just feel like they definitely are backed up and like everybody's trying to get in on the phone lines at the same time everybody's on the website at the same time so the server is like super slow um for me the school teachers are still getting paid um but for me right now i am still currently on leave of absence status which is annoying because i need my money i need to get paid so I was due to go back to work or be able to do work duties um, by the 22nd, which is next week. And I haven't heard anything from HR at all. Like at all. So I'm getting a little weary and I'm just like, I'm hoping that um, this something can be resolved. Because right now, currently, they are on um uh spring break which don't ask why they still got a spring break because we're out but but anyway they i guess they just wanted to keep the same schedule this is when we would actually be on normal spring break um so we would usually get out on good friday right before um easter we would have easter and then that following week would be our um uh, spring break so with that being said it is difficult to figure out what i'm what my status is gonna be and yeah i just i'm just relying on god i can't even trip about this right now because i just don't have the energy to i really don't i really do not have the energy to do it to to trip about this I'm using the uh, LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner from Dollar Tree. I always use this one. It is so black and it's, I like the applicator on it. It makes this process so easy. Like so easy. But, um. Oh gosh, I'm sorry guys, this is dead silence, but <laughs> how many other people can talk and do their eyeliner? Not me. I'm definitely no professional. But, oh yeah, I also feel so bad for people who, um, let me know down in the comments if you know a senior or have a senior kid. Um, that was supposed to graduate their commencement ceremonies and all of that what are they doing have they decided anything or like our school district i work with pre-k so i'm not exactly up on everything that they do um with the high schoolers but i just feel so horrible i just know that some high school um kids you know it took it's, it takes a lot to get to that point and even if it didn't even if you you know you breeze through high school, you still want to your parents, to your family, your friends to see you graduate. It's like, man, that is just horrible. I feel so, 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 so bad. So lately I've been a little bit oily in certain places. So I'm going to take my Airspun loose face powder. So, um, but yeah, I feel so bad for those for those particular kids that have to miss out on prom on memorable things that you remember about your senior year like the tailgating game like the games and stuff like that all of that like oh i just feel so horrible for them um and what about like some of the athletes that you know was getting looked at by different colleges like they wanted them to play and you know so I'm putting some powder in those areas where I have been getting oily. I've been getting oily like right around here 
and in this area and then also kind of like right there around the mouth I'm just putting some powder learn this trick I think from I don't remember who it was I think it was my, maybe makeup Shayla I don't remember I take everything that she says to heart okay so for the foundation I'm using the cover covergirl queen collection all day flawless three in one foundation and this one is in the color warm caramel and I use this one um when I'm not really going anywhere special like it's not a bad foundation at all this one is just a little dark for me but it's cool it, it gets the job done definitely gets the job done but anywho I'm just gonna blend this out with a foundation brush and then further blend it out with my beauty blender that um or the, my beauty sponge I won't say beauty blender because it's not the brand um I use the beauty sponges from Shop Miss A. They are super soft. Like you would never believe how soft them dollar beauty blender or beauty sponges are. If you have not checked out Shop Miss A, if you have not checked out your local beauty supply store, once everything, you know, kind of opens back up in your state or in your city, your local area, definitely check out the beauty supply store makeup um because i love it i love drugstore i love inexpensive i want to keep money in my account for things like this you would hate if we go through a pandemic and you just spent your last on some makeup that you didn't need you feel me i would hate that i just my priorities are different now <laughs> you feel me? Well, they never really was on that to begin with, but that's just me. And I'm going to be trying out. I hope, hopefully, I like this. If I don't, I'll just use the, my Pro, LA Pro Conceal over top of it. But this is the um, AOA Studio Liquid Concealers. These are what they look like. Um, this one is in the shade Honey, and I'm just gonna use that as my um concealer today mm -hmm. it's not really light enough but i'll put some i mean it's okay but i like my under eye to be Boing! But yeah, I kind of, uh, I like the consistency of these. These are dope. Yeah, I like the consistency a lot. So, I'm going to go in with my BD sponge. And just blend this out. Mm. And then also, um, what was I going to say? What places have been, and let me know in the comments because we were, me and my mom was driving down the, um, a, like a busy street on the north side of my city that I live in and it was a car wash open and we were like how is that essential is that really <laughs> is that really essential so let me know down in the comment section some places or things you've seen open that was just like okay is this really essential or what 
what places are you missing out on like right now that you um wish was still open as far as like if it's a food spot we, like some of our local food spots are not open right now which is so annoying I miss those. I miss going thrifting. Thrifting is my jam, but right now you don't really want to be getting anybody's even gently used clothes because of everything that's going on. I wonder how the thrift stores are going to be affected after this because I think people are just going to be so scared to even get anybody's gently clo used clothes. at all but for me absolutely and even places like Plato's Closet I love going there too they might be affected as well because nobody's going to want to do that nobody's going to want to I know I might not for real and I and I absolutely love thrifting but for me I don't know if I want to risk it to be honest with y'all so it's not too bad not too bad of the beat. So I'm gonna take some AOA Studio. If I can find it. Finish. Oh yeah, okay, here it is. Um the perfect oh, this one is in chestnut. And I use the angle brush just to contour. And I'm not gonna contour my forehead. My front was down enough, you know. You know, we can create our own foreheads out here in these streets. So that's what I did. Because homegirl is working with the five head for sure. For sure, for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and contour this nose. And I really don't contour my nose to kind of make it slender more so. I kind of just like to bring just some some warmth back to it. Because I feel like all of that light powder, like kind of makes it washed out. So now I'm going to go in with some blush. And I like using an angle brush to um, apply my blush. And this is like just a pinky blush, cheap pinky blush that I got from Shop Mose from the brand Beauty Benefits. That's what it looks like. Don't even have a name on it of the actual shade. So I'm going to take another angled, small angled brush. And I'm going to use the LA Girl Gel Eyeliner. That's what it looks like. I got this from Family Dollar, I feel like. You ain't gonna catch me spending a whole lot of money on makeup. Like, I will spend a lot of, or I will spend enough on some foundation. I love good foundation. I will splurge on that. Um, and I have tried the Fenty. I have tried the, what is it? Um, Too Faced, Born This Way. Which, honestly, that one and <sighs> the other one that I really like. Um, hmm. Why do I have like a brand for it right now? I cannot think of it. Um, I don't know. Once I think of it, I'll just put it. I'll just insert it into this video somewhere. But anyway, um. Those brands I really wanted to try because I heard really good things. I kind of want to um, let me know if you tried the Kat Von D foundation because those I've heard good things about as well and her concealers as well. So let me know. And I'm obsessed with trying different concealers. I really am. So... <laughs> 
that's my new thing honestly well it's not really new i've been obsessed with concealers for a while but so i'm going to take this wet and wild highlighting powder in golden flower crown and this is what it looks like and i'm going to go in and just put this on my tear duct here just to give me some shine and pop right there and then I'm gonna go and use my cheeks on the tip of my nose and a little bit down on my cupid's bow. And then for lashes, I'm using the, I will splurge on this. This was actually on sale. So they had this and the, um, the eyeliner together. And I've used the eyeliner since then. But um, they had these together and it was $20 for both. Which, <laughs> that was a deal and a steal because this is, I believe, normally $25 by itself on Ulta at Ulta so and I like the Too Faced better than sex this is the waterproof one the normal one comes in like a pink case or a pink container whatever you want to call it but I like this a lot it separates my lashes pretty good oh shoot and I want to take some of that um Some of that same highlighter and I'm gonna use that up here on my portion of this eyebrow I don't know all the term makeup terms <laughs> I just do what I can okay I'm pretty decent decent enough for a good picture you feel me I ain't no makeup shade out here but I'm going to use this uh, setting spray, Locks in Makeup. It's the AOA Studio as well. I'm going to take a fan brush and use my absolute favorite MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And this is in Soft and Gentle. And it just adds even more pizzazz. All right, so only thing left now is my lips and I put on some lashes. So I like to use, I love this um, eyeliner by Nikki K. It's uh, in, I believe it's just brown. Yeah, a AA13 brown. So it's just a brown lip liner. And I like it because it's pretty subtle still. I use that and then this is by AOA Studio as well. This is their Wonder Matte Liquid Lipstick in Naked. And it literally is like the perfect nude. Like it blends in so well. Sometimes I like more of a pinky nude. Like sometimes I like dead on nude and this is like that dead on nude. Like it's perfect. Okay, now while that dries up, I'm going to go ahead and take these lashes that I've been wearing like the past three days. Um, they are $3.99. I get a lot, a lot of questions about them. They are $3.99 at my local beauty supply store. Cherry Blossom in the number 20. Uh, they're 25 milliliters. These are the 702s. Love them. 
So I'm going to use those and I'll be back when they're on because I just get nervous when I try to put on like lashes on camera because they just never, it never works out because I have to be like all up on the mirror. Is anybody else like that? Like if you were trying to record <laughs> yourself, no, it is not a good thing. Like I barely can do eyeliner on camera, but I definitely can't do lashes on camera. So I will be back. And those are on and i'll give you guys the finishing touch up so which will probably just be some lip gloss okay and so here's the finished look almost i'm just gonna add some sassy and chic lip gloss from the dollar tree and that's how i like it so yes um the video on this hair hasn't came out yet, but it is from Icy Hair, so be on the lookout for that. Um, I absolutely love this. Love, 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 love this hair, and I love this look. So, yeah, I might get back doing, trying to do some eyeshadow looks. Um, I just go through phases. Like, sometimes I like to do my makeup, like eyeshadow looks, and sometimes I don't. Let me know how you guys like these lashes. These are my faves, my new faves absolutely love them y'all gotta let me know how y'all like them but yeah um what else was I gonna say oh yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and yeah hopefully I didn't bore you to tears but yeah I definitely wanted to just get some things off my chest talk about this quarantine talk about postpartum talk about my my child's donor all of that good stuff and I will see you queens in my next video leave all your comments down below on everything we talked about um in part one and part two of this video and i will see you queens in my next one deuces